welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice of Sidetrack. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive mm -hmm. one. And we're playing more who paralyzed the physician's assistant. Parasostis. 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 Yeah, dude. No, it's a word. Do you have angina? I messed it up. I, You know, I drank some a, a soda. Yeah. And I got like one of those burps. Like <laughs> the, 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 the tingle throat? It's, yeah, it's stuck in there right now. <laughs> yeah, you got, some, you got a tingle burp. Okay, I'm going to work through it. We're going to work through it because we have to you find out more about it. You sound like an old lady right now. Listen. <laughs> I'm going to work through this. We're going to work through this. <laughs> this. <laughs> All right, so let's find out what sort of prescription or messages people are writing on his prescription pad. He's, they're like, F you, loser. <laughs> he didn't tell me anything specifically. Just death threats. It was one of his many rants. I just so he's a ranter quietly, now. Hoping he wasn't going to try and hypnotize me again. I asked him if it was a boy or a girl's handwriting. He said he knew who it was, and that they'd be in trouble. What? I think he was bluffing. Why would they say? Never mind. Dude. Why would he know? How... If he knew who it was, why would he keep seeing that client? Oh yeah, let's, let's, let's talk uh... about Mariana. Why are we so brazen, saying that we can stop everybody's problem all of a sudden? Anyways, I mean, you know, let's talk about the the we, sexy lady. It's pretty easy. We could just kill all these people. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I can't really explain it. But she seems like such a friendly person. Uh, she's a siren. I think the police are barking up the wrong tree. He seems good at reading people. I mean, yeah, he's he's a smart, he's, he's a sharp guy. Yeah. All right, what have the, the police told, wait. Got to do with Mariana. What have the police got to do with Mariana? I can I swear. I think I've probably said too much. It's probably not the same girl anyway. What? Uh, Okay, well, I guess he's done with that. <laughs> did right, we, well, did we look at his referral already? Yeah, we looked at all of them, but I don't remember what they said. Let's let's tell him about referral first. My solicitors assured me that I wouldn't have to discuss anything about my trial with you, so I'm not going to. His Concentrate trial. on my state of mind and let me worry about other things. Do we knew? Did we know he had a trial coming up? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Referral letter one. Uh, maybe his referral letter was the one that was very... Uh, oh, yeah. They didn't have a name. Yeah. It might have been this one. Because we didn't really hear anything about oh, it. Oh, yeah. I helped to find him insane. Yeah. and and Oh, it does say him. All right. Yeah, with, yeah. With the McNaughton rules. We didn't the, even look up what the McNaughton rules yeah. were, but it doesn't matter. So his is very discreet for a reason. All right. All right. Well, let's see if we can stop him from relieving days. Please do. I wish I could believe you. They've all told me that. I've had, oh, that's so many. you know who it's time for now. <laughs> Elin! Ooh, bring me them overalls, girl. You got a straw hat on. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Elin. Hi, Elin. I murdered another patient. I took their rings. Whoa. And in my opinion, nation. All right, how are you today? Hilda died last night. Yeah. I was there. She's so happy. Well, I was there as her daughter. It was nice. She had a good death. She got to say what she wanted to say. And give me your rings. <laughs> As her daughter. I mean, what was her... What's well, a good death? Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I know, right? Hilda was Hilda to the end. I was the doting daughter. Don't worry, everything's going to be okay. I love you, Mum. Then Hilda, with almost her last breath, looks me straight in the eye and says... Don't let them take Amelia. What is that? Uh, Earhart, the plane. <laughs> the notes say, what's Amelia? And we don't even have a question to ask. Oh, my God. We got to finish all these before we unlock that. Flag. All right, fine. Uh, do you still think about Oh, Decker? yeah. Do you think about him? Yeah, you think about him, Decker. I think of Dr. Decker every time one of my patients dies. Oh, that's sad. It makes me remember how he didn't care about his mum. <laughs> wow. He was a good therapist. He was a lousy son. You're a lousy son. I know, man. That's that's awful presumptuous. You don't know what she did to him when he Why was younger. Why was he a lousy son? Yeah. Yeah, but still. I was angry at Dr. Decker. Hilda's daughter, she's in Australia, so fair enough. Maybe she really couldn't get over to see her. But Dr. Decker's mum was dying literally on the other side of town, and he just couldn't be bothered. He was crazy and an alcoholic and banging her. girls. But in a way, I wish I hadn't. Because it let Dr. Decker off the hook, you know? Oh, she's I mad at him. I didn't realize how little he cared until I told him the news. He's like, great, where's my money? 
All I'm saying is that you don't know what kind of bull crap that, that his mother pulled on him when he was a kid. Right, if dude. he doesn't F with his mom, there's got to be a reason for it. Yeah, so. usually most people who don't F with their mom, yeah, they, they tend to be narcissistic or had like abuse issues or exactly. some, some toxicity. Yeah. Like Not everybody's reason. mom is a good mom, dude. <laughs> um, Do you have access to sleeping pills or did Dr. Decker ever drink alcohol? Do you have access to sleeping pills? Most people have taken sleeping pills at some time or another, haven't they? Nope probably quite easy to get hold of them. Although, I have to get a doctor to sign a prescription if I need any at work. It's probably the same for Jaya. Oh. I don't even know what that means. Did you just implicate Jaya right Tell now? me about Jaya. Yeah. Jaya seems really nice. I don't know why she'd want to work in a place like this. <laughs> a place like this? <laughs> no. What do you mean? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Jesus. I just mean, get all these weird people coming here. I mean, I've met some of them out in the waiting room. I know they're just people, but a couple of them have seriously given me the creeps. Like who? Do you meet in the? I mean, there's only one patient at a time. Who do you think gives her creeps? Uh, this? Bryce. <laughs> That's the one I was thinking. Yeah, Bryce they, gives her the creeps. Mariana's got Glenn, to give her. Glenn give me the creeps, dude. Glenn. They're just she's just jealous of Mariana because she <laughs> wants to dress like that, but she wears overalls to work. Maybe I should ask her which one. Let's find out which one. Which one gives you the creeps? <laughs> we we say Claire. No, Claire gives me the creeps too. She's a slightly older one, isn't she? I mean, Always I guess, well dressed. I guess. Yeah. Yes, her. I'm pretty good at picking up on people's energy, and hers is cold. Yes. Actually, I think I sort of know her. Oh, do you? Claire Castleford, isn't it? Apparently, she attacked a <laughs> person or something. Yes, yeah. she did attack her husband or something. All right, we can't really follow up on that, so we'll just ask her if she knows anything about Dr. Decker. Yeah, does Dr. Drucker drink gin? Does he? Dr. Decker drank a bit. I, mean, I didn't say anything about it, but, well, it's not very professional, is it? Well, I mean, I was mean, he drinking wine? It's not was... like he was drunk. He was just sipping on the old whisk. It's very stressful being a therapist. Well, little, little whisk find whisk. A doctor? I don't contone. Uh, yes, it's extremely stressful. I can tell just by looking at you. This job has really taken its toll on you. It's only been a couple days. Yeah, well, I'm stressed out because everybody's crazy and a freaking X Man. Oh wow! Now we get to unlock who's Amelia. I can stop you from shifting. I want to know who Amelia is. Who is Amelia? Amelia's Hilda's doll. She used to have about nine or ten of them, all glassy-eyed and creepy-looking, with frilly dresses and curls. All over her room they were. In the end. We had to get rid of them. They weren't very hygienic. But we let her keep hygienic. one. Hygienic. And that was Amelia. Well, I wonder why she thought Amelia was so important. What happened to her doll? Yeah. All right. So I'm guessing that Elin has the doll now. Yep. I'm keeping her safe yep. until I can pass her on to Hilda's daughter. Maybe she'll fly over for the funeral. I don't know. Are you okay, Doctor? You look a bit pale. Are we under her spell? I think we're gonna die. Um... Did you ever try shifting for Dr. Decker? Oh yeah, we could ask that. I don't know if she could have for him. She couldn't for us, but... Oh, that's... she said it, he had to be dying, but yeah, whatever. It's but fine. maybe she... Oh, but if... Okay, this is good. We can catch her. We can catch her. We can catch her here. Because she says yes, then she knew he was dying, and she might have been the one. To kill. She came in and shifted yes, and killed him. Once. I wanted to show him what I could do so he could see for himself. I took his hand, I told him to think of a loved one, and then we had there sex. was nothing. I mean, literally nothing, just an empty void. The only thing I could feel was his hand holding mine. Oh, she I'm liked pretty it. sure without that, I'd have... I'm not sure I could have made it back. The doctor didn't care about anybody. Dun, dun, dun. Not even... 
All right. I can stop you from shifting, which is a <laughs> lie, but, you know, I guess we got to say it. Uh, did Dr. Decker know you could shift? I mean, we sure, kind of already... Yes, I told Dr. Decker. Most other people wouldn't have believed me, but he did. In fact, he cared far more about the shifting than he did about his mum dying. Well, yeah. He's like... Can we monetize this? <laughs> Can we monetize my mom dying? <laughs> he already monetized that. <laughs> uh, why do you think Dr. Decker didn't care about his mom? Yeah, I want to know about that, too. For a moment, I thought he might cry. Just for a split second. But he didn't. He just carried on with our session. I wish I knew what went on there. Jaya probably knows. She spent quite a long time with Sarah when she visited. Who's Sarah? Bum, bum, bum. Right, I guess we should ask Jay about that. Um, how's Terry? Yeah, how's Terry anyway? Terry hasn't been into work for a few days. I hope there's nothing wrong with her. I hope I didn't murder her. You said she was going to die. You said she wasn't doing well. Yeah. Are you just pretending yes. to care about Terry? Yes. That's, that's what I'm catching to. Yeah. Terry and I are never going to be best friends, but... I wouldn't wish her ill. I think this woman wishes everybody ill and just plays the Marianne type. Yeah, like she has a different type of Marianne going, Marianna going. Marianna throws sex in your face. She yeah. throws in childlike innocence in your face. She's like, oh, I just love everybody and I wish everybody to be happy except for I murder them. Yeah, like let out another emotion, lady, except for like giddy and bubbly. All right. Uh, do you have a referral letter to see Dr. Decker? Yes. Let's see. I referred myself because of Dr. Decker's mother. Was oh, I supposed to have a letter? That's true. Oh. That's, that's well, true. She did say and that. And I guess we'll tell her that we can stop her shifting on the next one. So <laughs> that's all the time we ever did. So please make sure to like and subscribe. If you did that, there is a bell you can hit. What's it do? It goes dang. Yeah, I got him to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas. TNT. Oh, we out.